Hey guys, so we're going to be talking about a uh, quick tip with Navisworks, um, uh, specifically working with Clash Detective. So if you do Clash Detection on your project, uh, I think this is going to be pretty useful. And um, what we're going to try to do is, you know, for this run of duct right here, we want to grab all the clashes that are involved. Instead of, you know, getting a clash for each of these items so that, you know, for example, this would be one clash. This would be another one. We just want to group these together. So um, I've already got a clash test set up, so we'll take a look at that. Um, I just call it test one. Um, generally, what I like to do is like the first selection is the uh, duct, you know, versus, um, you know, let's say pipe. Um, that's usually how I like to name them, but you can name them, you know, whatever you like. Now, just to show you what's going on here, we have in set or section or selection A, we have the ducts. In selection B, we have uh, the pipes. I've set up search sets in here that look for the category ducts and then the category pipes. Um, if you like, I can share this with you, but that's what I'm using here, or you can create your own search set. Uh, I'm, a, I'm just going to come up here and update this. So now you can see we have four clashes. If we go to results, we can kind of see what's going on. So we've got four separate clashes. Kind of see the items. Now, as you can imagine, um, in this instance, there's not a lot here. We can come in to this and, you know, unhide them and kind of, kind of get an idea of what's going on. We can highlight all the clashes. That's one way to do it, but, you know, a huge project, there's a lot going on. You may want to just grab one run, see everything that cla clashes with it, and see, you know, what's the best way to move that or move the other, other elements. Um, and grouping it is uh, really helpful. Now, you can manually group these things. You can come in here, right-click, and then um, group these elements. But another way to try to automatically do that so you're not, you know, manually doing it or, you know, you could easily miss something is to select on one of these clashes. So we're selecting on this clash that hits that duct. Go down into the item tab and I'm going to expand this a little bit and I'm going to pull this up. So down here, you can see uh, what it's clashing. You can right-click and then group involving clashes. Now, this is the selection A, which is the duct. So you can come up here and you know verify that, hey, it's HVAC versus pipe. HVAC is that first selection A item. And then down here, you can group uh, clashes involving that item. And now we'll come back over here. We'll hide other. And then now we'll take a look at those grouped elements. So um, you can see that these are still separated. But that one run of duct, it has every clash that's involved with it. So it's a really nice way to um, kind of kind of uh, you know compress the size of clashes that you have. Um, you know, reduce it down to, to you know to to something a little bit more. Um, easier to run through, you know, because at some point you may hand this to a bunch of uh, team members, you know, um, they may then be responsible for their disciplines to make it a little bit more effective. You may want to start to group things in this way so they can quickly go through there and resolve these clashes. So they're not looking at individual clashes, um, wasting their time up updating one and, you know, realizing that this is the same clash or the same element with multiple clashes in it. They can group them together. They can see what's going on, jump into Revit, resolve those, resolve uh, that clash, and so on. But there's a variety of ways you can group things. This is just one way. Um, definitely check it out. Let me know if you have any questions or um, if you found this helpful or if it's, you know, you find that your team is using it or if there's a different way in doing this, I'd love to hear. Uh, feel free to comment, like, share, um, and let me know if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for watching.